up guys welcome to another workout except today we are taking it down a little bit and we are just doing a stretch you can either do this in the morning when you wake up after you work out or before workout so this stretch is just all around really great for your body getting yourself recentered for your day or your nights um, but yeah without further ado let's just get right into it Okay, so we're gonna start with our legs hip width apart. We're just gonna raise it up. Nice, deep, big breath and come down. Good, straighten those knees, bend, roll it back up. We're gonna take it up again, we're bringing it up. Get a little faster, bring it down. Go to bend and straighten, bend, roll it up. Give me one more, bring it up. Good, and down. Bend those knees, good, straighten them here. Let's stay down here. Walk those heels out a little bit more. Rock into those legs, breathe here. Good, you're walking over to that right leg. Lift that right arm, good. You should be in a little twist. If this is too intense, bend that right knee. Good, really feel that spiral in your upper back. Good, walk over to the other leg. Good, pull that wrist out. This is for you, do what you need. We're all at our own levels of flexibility. Good, and come back to center. Good. Give me one last bend and straighten in those knees. Bend and straighten. Good, I'm gonna come facing to the side. We're gonna walk those hands out into downward facing dog. Hold that belly button into your spine, pedal out those feet. Good. Beautiful, bring that right leg up. Good, and bring it into your runner's lunge. Making sure here that your knee isn't too far over your hip and it's right over your knee. Good. So your knee is right over that ankle. Beautiful. Straighten both legs up. Good, making sure that your hips are square. They're not one hip up, one hip down. They're nice and square. You almost have to think about pushing down that left leg into the mat. Beautiful. Good, coming back down into that runner's lunge. Walk your hands on the inside of that leg, drop that back knee down, and put those hands on the inside of that leg. Gorgeous, hold it here. yourself up chest is up you're gonna reach back and grab that back leg this is really getting a deep quad stretch I know it's very intense but it's very effective breathe here good release that arm down we're going and going back into that downward dog, pedaling out those feet. Good, stay here as long as you need. Hold in that core. Breathe here, press those heels down. Try to get them flat onto the mat. Good, and when you're ready, lift that left leg up. Good, and bring it through to your hands. Good. Again, making sure your knee isn't too far over your ankle. It's stacked right on top. Good. Good, from here we're coming up to two straight legs. 
same as the other leg. Make sure that hip isn't too far off. It's nice and square. Think about pushing that right hip down into the mat. Both heels are pressing into the mat. Good. If you want to go a little bit deeper into the stretch, try to think about flattening your back out. Good. Then we're going to go back down into that lunge, going a little deeper. So walking that heel out, dropping that back knee down, and putting those elbows down on the mat, getting deeper into that stretch. Lifting that chest up. We are twisting and bringing that back leg in. Try to get that heel as close to your butt as possible. That's really gonna get deep into that quad. Good. Don't forget to hold in that core. Chest up, sternum up. Twist, twist, twist. And release that arm down. We're gonna twist over to the side. If we're up here, that is totally fine. We're all at our own flexibility. Just make sure that your knee isn't too far over your ankle. Make sure it's right over. Good. And then we're just gonna switch on over, passing through that middle, stretching those hips out. Good. Good, let's do it again. If you wanna challenge yourself, try not to use hands as you switch. Good. Good, hands down on the mat. Walk both heels in, and we're just gonna stretch our hips out. Good, and we're just gonna fall forward, just like how we started. Beautiful, walk those feet and knees in. Bend those knees, roll on up. Hands above your head, reach, grab that right wrist and reach on over to that left side. Good. And come back center. Switch and pull on over. Good, both arms up. We are pulling back, stretching that upper back out. Bring it back up. Once more, pull, pull, pull. Good, and we're gonna walk on forward, back down into a plank. Good, from here we're gonna lower into a little chaturanga. Push up that back, good. Roll through those feet and push back into downward facing dog. Good. Hold in that belly button. Try it again, go back into that plank. This time, you're gonna bring your right foot into a pigeon. So pigeon is different for everybody. How I like to do it and how I feel it, my leg isn't fully at a 90 degree angle. If you would like a deeper stretch, try to get their foot into a 90 degree angle that leg, and you're really getting over it. You're not sitting into that hip. You're really getting yourself over. This is gonna get very deep into the stretch. And to challenge yourself even more, try to walk your hands out. Try to get your forearms back on the mat. Good, but again, don't wanna sit on that hip. Good. We're gonna pull that back leg around, so that would be your left leg, and you're gonna give it a big hug, so it's nice and tall. Good. Beautiful. Try to sit. Try to get both butt cheeks on the mat. Good. Beautiful, now we're gonna 
bring that left leg over. So we're going into almost like a double pigeon. And then we're gonna walk our hands forward. For me, my glutes are so tight. So this is as far as I can get. Some people can like go all the way down. That's not me. So just go to your own level. Good. We all have our parts where we're tighter than others. And for me, that is definitely my glutes and my hamstrings. Beautiful. We're gonna switch those legs over. So first, let's go back into that plank. Good, we're gonna go back into that downward dog. Good, we're gonna come through and bring that left leg up. Good, again, to really activate that stretch, get right into that 90 degree angle and really get yourself over. stretch, bring that right leg over, give yourself a big hug, try to get both those hips squared on the mat, and twist, you should be feeling that right alongside of here. Good. Beautiful. From here, we're going to go into that double pigeon. We're going to bring that leg right over and just walk those hands forward. Surprisingly, this side is tighter than the other side. <laughs> so we're just gonna breathe here. I know, not the most comfortable, but it is so, so important to stretch before and after you do your workouts to prevent any injuries, because especially with my workouts, I know there's a lot of jumping. So it's very, very important to do this before we get right into it. Here we're just gonna roll up, we're almost done. Extend both of those legs out front, arms up, and we are just gonna go and reach for our toes. Good. Same here, try not to arch that back too much, try to keep it nice and flat. Good, try to almost think about getting your chest to your knees if you feel like getting your nose to your knee is too simple. Really try to get as low as you can. Gorgeous. And then we're just gonna roll on up, walk yourself up. The last thing we are going to do is end in a straddle. This is just gonna get your hips nice and flexible before we start our day or go to bed at night. <laughs> this is great all around. We're just gonna walk our hands to the right side. Make sure both our hips are pressed into the mat. One's not lifted up. They're both pressed down. Beautiful. And walk over that left leg. Get through center. Good. And then we're going to go center. So try to go as low as you can. And we're just going to hold this for a little bit. Try not to get your knees facing towards that way. Try to keep them facing the ceiling as long as you can. And if you start to notice your hips starting to curve in, you may have gone a little too far. So keep them as close to the ceiling or as pointed to the ceiling as possible. Good. And last thing, we're just gonna shake it out, shake everything out, and you guys are all set. If you would like to do a workout of mine now, go ahead. There is so many on my channel. I will link one down below and I will see you next time. Bye guys.